Thank you, Minister Xu, for your support to the summit. And also, I would like to take the opportunity to thank you for your effective work connecting people, particularly overseas Chinese. Now, I would like to invite the Honorable Isam Saraf to give us a speech. Thank you. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to be here with you. And uh, I just want to start by thanking our uh, uh, organizers of the next summit for uh, excellent organization and um, generous hospitality. Well, I selected um, the title of my presentation today as The Road to a Common Development. Well, the great philosopher, Aristotle, uh, in his philosophy of formation, he said that to have a product, a form, you have to have an aim, and then you have interaction between the mankind and nature to develop this product. So the equation actually is you have to have a dream, action, to get the result. So, you have to have a serious dream and a serious action to get good results. To me, my dream is a global harmony. And action is establishing commonalities. And the result is some sort of harmonious civilization. Actually, why we dream? Because the world is at crossroads either to select, to continue business as usual, or to have a radical change. If we continue business as usual, unfortunately, this will be the case. If we select to make a radical change in the global governance and the globalization, then we might end with something like that. That's our, our dream, actually. We need a new world, or I call it modified globalization, because globalization is not bad, but the current globalization is not as good as we expect. So I believe also that the world resources are greater than the world needs, and everybody has the right of decent life for all by all then we can balance the unbalanced situation. Basically, we need innovation for better use of resources and justice for better distribution of outcomes. So what's the action? The action is basically to have a, develop a common development. This cannot be achieved without common security. This cannot be achieved without common trust. So this is the commonalities that I'm talking about. So to have a de common development, we have to start by common trust, common security, and then common development. And this cannot be done without cross-cultural dialogue. And this needs an umbrella to work under it. This umbrella, it needs a catalyst for a change. And the catalyst for change is basically, for me, is a belt and road initiative. And the NGOs can play a very important role, or actually the major role, in cross-cultural dialogue. But remember, I said common trust, common security, common development, and no common culture. The culture diversity is, is a key for development. And the culture diversity will not prevent harmony. Culture diversity is very important. Okay? So, this is the concept of one humanity, different cultures. Now, let me talk about the Built and Road Initiative as the catalyst for change. I'll talk very quickly about four items, the concept, messages, the development, and the development corridors. 
Belt and Road Initiative and allow me, I say, before we say it's a project, it is a concept leading to common or synergy or harmonious development and civilization. It, it includes about 70 countries, constitutes more than two thirds of the population and more than one third of the global uh, economy. So the basic message to the people, to use the, peop the power of the people is one Belt, One Road is a Chinese initiative, but a global multi-sector project by all for all, okay? The first is a concept, not a, not a project. It is a development network, not just a transportation network. It is a new universal bridge, bridging development gap and connecting cultures. These are the most important messages to the people. People are still afraid of domination, so we have to secure that. Regarding development is, is basically a common development, which is very similar to the concept of sustainable development and UN Agenda 230. So the basic definition of sustainable development requires the integration of economic, environment, and social objectives across sectors, territories, and generations. So if we can really represent that graphically, it's, it's decision boundaries, it's sector, time, location. We have to integrate that. And decision objectives, economic, social, environment. We have to integrate that. And the players are government, private, and NGOs, and I marked NGOs as a key player uh, in, in, in time to come. So what's a Belt and Road Initiative? Actually, going back to the history, the old Silk Road is simply held in exchanges of good, exchange of goods and knowledge, ideas, cultures, ideologies, and languages. The new Silk Road or the Belt and Road Initiative, it's nothing more than revival of old Silk Road. Again, it's, it's supposed to, we have exchange of goods, knowledge, ideas, cultures, ideologies, and languages. So this is the, the concept of the Belt and Road is not just trade. It is more than that. It's creating a more harmonious world. And based on that, these are the projects. Infrastructure, actually in the, in the C20 last year, we identified seven types of industries. Infrastructure, energy, information, manufacturing, economic zones, residential, and cultural industry. These are the common development. So these are projects aiming at common development, common development aiming at a more harmonious uh, world and civilization. So with these projects and this concept, we, we are doing nothing more than responding to natural demand of connectivity. All we are born to be connected, okay? But on a fair basis. So with this connection or connectivity, we can actually under, we have to believe that we have a future, common future, common destiny, and common responsibility, of course. And with that, if we achieve that, then we can achieve our initial goal, which is harmonious civilization. Let me say that global harmony are extremely difficult task. I know that, but as you also know, that important things are usually difficult. And this I wanna recall the story of the great musician Beethoven, when he was argued, his maestro argued him with the difficulty of his music, and he said, difficult is beautiful. And I hope when we deal with this difficult task, we feel the beauty of achieving harmony among all of us, harmony, uh, our harmonious civilization. Thank you very much. Thank you.